What is up guys, uh, Luis Abanda here from Lou Media, and as promised, I am finally going to do the video that I've been saying I'm going to do, and that is how to start a decal slash t-shirt business. What would this video include? The type of software you'll need, uh, type of computer you will need, everything down to heat press and vinyl cutter. Um, I will not go into details though as into how to design things and how to find fonts and stuff like that I'll leave those to further videos I do think this is a really good place for you to start if you've been thinking about starting a decal t-shirt business There's a lot of money to be made in, in, in this industry and Even with me doing it and I know tons of other people that do it in the area and Trust me. There's enough money to go around and enough customers that they just don't run out and the orders keep coming in. We're gonna start off with the equipment that you will need and then from there we'll go into what software or what type of software you will need to have in order to tell the computer to send it to your machine and then from there on it'll become a decal or t-shirt. So obviously if you're gonna be doing decals or t-shirts, uh, the most basic thing you're literally gonna need is a vinyl cutter. Uh, this is mine and don't be afraid to look for inexpensive machines when you're starting off literally I think this machine cost me $250 and it's been going strong for two years here's the model number if you guys would like to kind of check it out it's from US Cutter and it's an MH871 MK2 now this machine does not have all the bells and whistles that uh, something you know um, a little better would have kind of like self-aligning or or after the decal's done, it'll cut off the page for you perfectly. Um, a lot of the stuff is done manually on this machine, but I don't mind it. I was kind of taught on one of these, and so I'm literally used to it. Second thing you'll need, guys, is a heat press. This is only if you want to get into the t-shirt side of things, um, or apparel, if you're gonna start up your own brand, or, or anything like that. Now, this doesn't let you print full color I mean you can layer uh, decals or you can layer vinyl on top of each other to get like a, a color effect but usually you'll do more like solid colors or uh, like glitter effects and stuff like that and I'll post some examples of what uh, my fiance Deanna does uh, with this machine and she does a lot of like glitter prints I do just regular your basic white black you know uh, prints as well Again, I did not opt to purchase a very expensive machine. This is this has been with us for two years now, and it still works flawlessly. I haven't had any issue whatsoever. I really don't know the model number on this thing, but I can definitely um, link everything to you guys in in the description of this of this um, video. So yeah, this is our heat press. I'm trying to get a little better view for you guys. Sorry, it's in our laundry room, so there's a little bit of a mess back here right now. Now, if you're if if you are more of a you, you're more crunch for space, we do also have a Cricut Explore Air 2. Um, this literally almost cost as much, if not as much, as my big vinyl cutter. Uh, but we really, really enjoy using this one because this does have a variety of um, things that it can cut. And this is really more so used by my fiance Deanna. She does more of her cuts on this and it's just really really compact it can't go over uh 12 uh 12 in width i think you can buy bigger mats uh to print longer we haven't tried it we want to use the 12 by 12 that that came with the machine but all in all it's really really user friendly everything is uh online based as far as the software and i mean it does tons of things guys the third thing you will need obviously you need vinyl this is kind of like my inventory uh, in the back or here in the laundry room again. Uh, this is not all my vinyl. I haven't really finished setting up the little pegs to kind of hold on to, to all the vinyls. I kind of uh, rig this up in the house and maybe in a future video, if you guys are interested, I'll, I'll, I'll do a video of how I, I made this kind of rig to hold on my, my vinyl. But yeah, I have a, a pretty good variety of from chrome, um, chrome vinyl, black, gray, your basic colors. And I will be stocking up on matte colors here pretty soon. So vinyl is not very expensive depending where you buy it. If you buy it by smaller quantities, you're going to have a much smaller profit margin. I will also in a later video um, show you guys 
where I purchase all of my vinyl and the different vendors that I use. But for now, just know that you will need some type of vinyl um, in stock uh, and make sure you stock plenty of colors so that you can accommodate uh, a lot of your, your customers. Fourth thing you will need is transfer paper. Um, every decal will require you to place this on top of it in order for you to be able to stick it onto things. I mean, there's nothing really to it. Some other things that really will be useful for you to have is a table. I bought one of those really little foldable tables from Walmart. I used to have a six foot table out here, uh, but it just took up too much space. And this is just super easy to, to fold up. It folds up into 24 inches and it's super compact. You just kind of put it away. I'll also put a link up to this. Um, obviously the shirts here because I'm getting ready to do some printing in a bit, but you need a cutting board. I, well, you don't need it, but I do recommend having a cutting board. Uh, you can cut straight on the table, but your table will get super ugly pretty quick. Um, my six foot table actually is all cut up from when I do like pretty big decals. So that's that. So this is my handy dandy little uh, toolbox, little dollar uh, pencil case from Walmart. And inside of it, I have a couple little tools that help me out a ton. So I do a lot of installations on vehicles and masking tape is a lifesaver. I will show you in a later video what I use a masking tape for and why you should probably purchase them too. Just dollar store masking tape. You don't have to buy the most expensive things. You always need some type of tape measure. You can pick one of these up in the dollar store as well. Um, so that's that. That's that. You need a squeegee. I usually have a ton of these, but I'm kind of low right now. And I usually get the ones with the felt on them so you don't scratch up the vinyl. Uh, these are lifesavers, guys, especially when you're putting the transfer paper on and you're uh, putting graphics on cars for, for your customers. The next thing is a pick. Guys, I cannot stress enough how important a pick is so that you can weed out your decals or your your HTV uh, transfers for your shirts. These things are lifesavers, and you will see when you start... <laughs> working with decals, especially ones with a lot of detail, how much of a lifesaver this little tiny tool is. And last but not least in my little toolbox, I have a X-Acto knife. I have the bigger version, uh, just because it fits in my hand a little better. We also have a smaller one that Deanna uses, but this thing is better than buying those, I don't know even what they're called, those little blades from the dollar store that kind of eject more or you can break them off as you go. Um, I just buy a whole bunch of different little blades for this. And um, yeah, I mean, it, it works wonders. And you can even sharpen these blades back up. Again, other little tips I'll probably show in a later video. But yeah, make sure you grab yourself one of these. So the next major thing that you'll need is obviously a computer. I mean, you can't do none of this without having a computer. Um, really, you don't need the most powerful thing in the world to do vinyl or 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 shirts it really doesn't use up a lot of resources um especially if you use something like photoshop or inkjet and we'll go through a couple of softwares that you'll be able to use and what my preference is um for cutting with the vinyl printer with the vinyl cutter with the plotter um you'll hear all different types of terminologies on it but yeah you will need a computer and the software so let's kind of start diving into what software I personally use but I will also list uh, a free software that you're able to use as well that I use that that I actually use when I started off uh, doing this type of work um, I don't have a capture device for my computer yet I haven't downloaded a software or purchased one yet I'm still fairly new at this so I'm just kind of kind of shoot the <laughs> the the monitor so I apologize if the quality is a little low um, it's just to get the point across of what softwares you'll be using so first guys I'm going to go uh, through the software that I use to design most of my decals and that is I either use Photoshop which is right here and this is from my late from my previous blog this is kind of what I use sometimes I'm, I'm more familiar with Photoshop than with this next software that I use I've been learning a little bit more um, and the next one is Illustrator. And the neat thing about Illustrator is that it's pretty much a vectorizing software and you'll learn that word or that terminology here pretty, pretty strongly um, in the decal business or in the graphic business. And, and 
Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much the standard, I would say, right now for any type of design for either decals, large billboards, or um, anything. I mean, really anything. So this is a, a little design I was working uh, on, or I was kind of fixing. Uh, a customer sent me this design, and I was just kind of uh, fixing a couple of things for them so that I can print them on some shirts, which I'll actually show here in a bit. A, a little bit of that process I'm not gonna go really deep into that but I, I do use illustrator now this does cost money the I, I believe I pay $69.99 or $59.99 for the Adobe Creative Suite but it's I mean I couldn't live without it everything I do is with Adobe I, I edit my videos with their softwares I, I do all my graphics I, I use illustrator to create vectors and all that good stuff so but of course, if you're just starting off, hey, you know, I, I get it. You want the most, the least expensive way to be able to to get, you know, designs out and to be able to get rocking and going. So I'm going to show you this next software. I don't have it downloaded on my computer. And I might do some tutorials on how to do things on, on this next one that I'm about to pull up. But it is 100% free. It does not cost anything. And it does pretty much... Almost everything Illustrator does. There's probably very little that it doesn't do that Illustrator does. So I'm gonna pull up the web page, and that is Inkscape. Kind of show you that, and I'll have a, a a link for every single thing I've talked about or any software for you to download in the description. Um, I still don't have affiliate code set up, so I mean, wherever you decide to purchase your stuff, go ahead and do it. But yeah. I definitely recommend Inkscape. Uh, I use it when I first started, and it was great. I mean, I, again, I only switched over because my nine to five, you know, the standard is Adobe, so I got used to Adobe, and that's why I switched over. So the last software I'm going to show you is the software that came with my plotter or my vinyl cutter, whatever you want to call it, and that Shirt Cuts a Lot Pro. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this, and so this is just kind of your the software they give you with the cutter. And it does a lot of things, guys. I mean, this is probably pretty powerful. You can do everything in here that you can pretty much do or as a beginner that you, that you would want to do. This, you know, has all your tools. You know, you can type text. You can create your, your designs in here. It can trace pictures. Um, I mean, it, it has the works. And if you wanted just to get familiar with a software like this, like what comes with your vinyl cutter, there's no shame in that either. Um, again, I think there's a little bit more versatility and more more features in something like um, like Inkscape or Illustrator or even Photoshop. But you know, it's not frowned upon to use the the stock software that comes with the vinyl cutter. Alrighty, guys. So as promised, uh, I'm going to show you a little bit how kind of how it works, the vinyl cutter, and how this software sure cuts a lot. Um, now, no matter where you design, whether it's an Illustrator, or Inkscape. You will still have to import the 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 file into Shirt Cuts a lot because this is what reads the cutter, the plotter. Now, if any of you guys have a way to illustrate to read it, man, let me know. I would love. I've been trying to do research on how to print directly from there, but I I've, I've had no luck. Uh, but man, I I really love the ease of use of Shirt Cuts a lot. But we're gonna go ahead and send this off to cut. And literally, all you gotta do is just push cut. I already set it up, so. And the little loading bar kind of just starts going. It's cutting, cutting with cutter. And we're gonna walk over to the cutter, which is over here. Now guys, one thing I did forget to mention is that there is two different types of vinyl, I guess, that you need to know of when you start doing this. And one is called HTV, which is a heat transfer vinyl. That's kind of what the abbreviation is. And that pretty much just allows it to adhere to clothing or to whatever it is you, you, you put heat against on with the vinyl. And the other vinyl is just your regular, you know, Oracle 651, which is what I use for my regular decals. So, yeah, that just figured I, I'd kind of throw this in there. I, I kind of forgot a little earlier. Okay, so we're going to really lay down a shirt right now from what we just printed. We got the see-through or the, the transfer. Uh, one thing, guys, HTV does not require transfer paper. It actually comes with it already. So you don't have to do that second step of putting transfer paper over it, kind of like uh, the regular vinyl. Sorry, it already comes with it. So we're using Scissor Weed right now as the brand. And my lady's just kind of measuring it out right now, making sure everything's nice and squared off. Make a final inspection, make sure there's nothing you missed. 
Alright, looks good to me. And the temperature always vary with vinyl and with uh, the different type of shirts you use. Alright guys, so this customer wanted also a front little uh, section, um, and this is a really good upsell. Uh, usually you just do a one-sided uh, t-shirt, but if you are able to upsell them to a, a, a two-sided, it ends up being actually pretty uh, profitable for you because these little guys, you usually end up making them out of whatever's left over from the big run, and they're just little scraps laying around. Um, but yeah great up so guys always keep that in mind but anyways we'll go in more detail of, of how to make a shirt from beginning to end from design to you know exporting the design and cutting it and all that good stuff uh, on a later video so even thinking about you know jumping the bullet and starting up your own business man go for it i say go for it 100 percent. it's a very minimal investment at least in my opinion um to get something going for yourself guys get out there slowly become your own boss now is everything gonna be peaches and gravy at the beginning uh for everybody no there, it's gonna be a lot of hurdles and a lot of tough decisions that you'll have to do and a lot of material losses and and all kinds of things but i will definitely try to guide you through this process and walk you through it as much as i can and show you all the tips and tricks that I've learned the hard way because when I started YouTube was still pretty much in its infancy and I didn't have much of any help when <laughs> when I started this up um, granted I'm just starting to do these type of videos and I really hope you enjoyed this series uh, on my YouTube channel and if you have any questions or you have any specific videos that you would like to see here in the future please please leave a comment below and let me know what that is i am on the road to a thousand subscribers please subscribe i you don't know how much it means how you know just hitting that button and keeping up with with my videos how much it helps and yeah guys catch you on the next one please please don't discourage yourself think about this long and true and i will literally link every single item that you need in the description below